Now we'll talk about the types of salts. If we talk about type of salt, there are three major varieties of salts available. One is your normal salt. The second one is your acid salt. The third one is your basic salt. So normal salt, the hydrogen ions of the acids are completely replaced by metallic ions. As referred to as normal salt. Whereas your acid salt, the star salt still has hydrogen atoms from an acid which can be further replaced by metallic ions. That's your acid salt. Whereas your basic salts contains hydroxides together with metallic ions and negative ions from an acid. The typical examples are basic zinc chloride and your basic magnesium chloride. So normal salts are neutral to litmus paper. Basic salts contains hydroxide ions and your acid salt contains your hydrogen atoms. Further moving towards the types of salts, we got anhydrous salts and hydrated. Hydrated indicates the salt with water. The salt that contains water of crystallization is called hydrated. Whereas salt without water is called anhydrous salt. You can see your hydrated salt will have water and if it is removed it will become anhydrous. Anhydrous means without water. If we talk about the uses of salts, so ammonium chloride which is really used in torch batteries. So ammonium nitrate in fertilizers, calcium chloride as drying agent, iron sulfate is used for iron tablets, magnesium sulfate once again is used for medicine, potassium nitrate for gunpowder, silver bromide in photography, sodium chloride for making your sodium hydroxide and sodium stearate for making a soap. Now we will talk about acid rain. Acid rain is nothing but the toxins or acids from the industries and also from your vehicles will react to the water in the clouds and it will report as acid rains which is really harmful for the plants. So the first acid which is really worse is sulfuric acid which is emitted from factories and nitric acid from vehicles. So these acids will react with water and it came out as acid rain. The reason is the rain, the pH value of the water is acidic. So the carbon dioxide will form carbonic acid and the pH value is 6. So this is emitted from the factories as smoke. So if the pH value is reduced still further, it will become more acidic. pH 6 become pH 3, obviously it's almost 1000 times, 1000 times acidity. So, 1 in pH will have tenfold so it's almost thousand times acidity so sulfuric acid is one of the most worst thing which is become sulfur or sulfates and it is located in as a potassium sulfate in the soil which reacts with the leaves and it will make the leaf dead and it will get decay so it will spoil and it may make the leaves and the trees die. The reason is the sulfur content available is spoil the leaves. So obviously the sulfur content will remain the same and react with oxygen it will form sulfur dioxide and carbon will form carbon dioxide. So once again if it reacts with oxygen 
it will form sulfur trioxide and with water it will form ya yeah, sulfuric acid and also nitric acid which is really worse and having more acidic nature which is emitted from vehicles so nitrogen reacts with oxygen and it will react and it will give ya yeah, nitric acid which is the most vulnerable one and also and is taking care of more acidic nature in the rain when mixed with water so once acid rain is formed this will create a major impact for the living beings the reason is the value of ph value is really lesser so i put a food item with vinegar and water you can see here in the right side you got it's rotten whereas here it is preserved so this is how your acid condition will restrict the growth of your items and also enzymes to grow and the sulfur and the acids which is penetrated in the soil will stay for a long term and it will spoil the soils and also plants you can see lot of h plus ions which is mixed up with the soil and h plus ion indicates its acid or acidic nature you can see it will remove all the required calcium magnesium in the soil and everything is acidic now so carbon dioxide reacts with water to make carbonic sulfuric acid and nitric acid is 100 times more acidic which is emitted from factories and also from your yeah, vehicles thanks for watching our gtech video thank you